Now I'm gonna make my kill button, which is a lot less badass than it sounds. Still pretty cool. So, so pedal controller to go. So I'm just gonna make it a button. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go back to edit. Well, first we gotta map it or assign it to a button. So I'm gonna assign it to the key I have that says X over here. Now, when I press the X, it'll turn that button on and off. So now, and then I'm also going to map it so that way when I press the X key, it mutes everything. So I'm going to go to Untitled Concert because I'm. It's going to be like a master switch, so I want it to control the entire concert. And then I'm going to go to Output One and Two, and I'm just going to click Mute. There. So now, when I press the X key. It's going to turn the mute on and off. So well, let's play some sounds. Oh, got to be on tremble. So let's hear, let's hear what that sounds like. So we have the th songs playing. Nope. Oh. And then X, and it's all gone. Or I could always just stop it by pressing the two buttons. But sometimes you panic and you need a button that just turns off everything. So now we're gonna do we're just gonna do a little like housekeeping stuff. For instance, what I want to make sure my stuff is like labeled because you want to know what does what. So I'm gonna go to the re replace parameter label, and I'm going. Uh, first of all, we have to turn on the parameter label. So we we'll go parameter. Oh, we just select, oh, let's just select multiple things. Tell it to display the parameter. So right now it's telling us what key it is on my MIDI keyboard. I'm going to change that. And I'm going to make this. Uh, so this is the kick track I have going. And I'm going to make this one perk track just so I know exactly what I'm doing and then I'm just gonna make this one like pad so fairly simple so far let's just do I'm just gonna show you very quick how this would look like in an actual show and this is how I'll actually be doing it when I use it when I perform live so basically the way the song goes is it starts off with like this ominous kick this percussion track kind of fills space because verse two is still quiet for the song, but there's there's like this electronic track that goes along with the song that kind of fills space and it sounds really cool and it sounds like what I made. And then of course the pad just to start off the song. So let's go ahead and try it out. So. Think of the scenario right here, we're just gonna start the pad by pressing the three key, no music is actually playing yet. I don't want that pad to be a little quieter. So we're gonna lower the volume down there. And then what we're gonna do is then bring in the kick. And the song starts, and then the keyboard player starts playing. I'm going to take out the pad, but I'm going to take out the pad slowly just by lowering the volume there. So now the keyboard player should be playing. First one is going, and then the chorus starts. I'm going to cut the kick because there's nothing in the chorus. And then the chorus ends, and then right into verse two, which is the kick and a percussion, I'm going to press both at the same time. And then I'm going to start playing my drums, doing something like keeping time on like the ride or something like that, and then it's going to start building, and then I'm going to, act to cut the percussion track but keep the kick going. And then the song builds, and then I'm starting to build also, and then I come in full, and then I just press the kill and everything's gone. And now I'm playing. 
So that is basically how everything works. Um, one last final thing I want to do is I actually want... Oh, and of course, when you actually perform, you're going to press perform, so that way you don't see like everything else, and you aren't distracted by people texting you and stuff like that. But anyway, another thing I want to do is I actually want... I don't like like just straight cutting out the percussion track like that because it was very obvious of me just like clicking it off because then all of a sudden there's nothing so to make that a little less awkward what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another fader switch I'm actually gonna make it a volume knob so basically what I'm gonna do here is I am going because I have this modulation wheel that I'm not currently using and so I want to use that modulation wheel to slowly roll off the volume and fade out that track. So do that, I'm going to go to Assign, and again, our amazing communication skills, I'm just going to move the module wheel, and it is moving. So then I'm going to go back to Edit, Map Parameter of that, and I'm just going to click the Percussion Fader. And then also I'm going to make sure the range is not over 0 dB because I don't want to add volume. So here we are in Perform. I'm just going to click 1 and 2 to start the beats. Just remove the modulation wheel and the fade out percussion and it works perfectly. So this is like really powerful stuff because you can add like all these loops and electronic sounds to your playing while playing at the same time and it's all just done at the touch of a button all you have to do is make sure you play to the metronome and make sure no one gets off or else if someone gets off then make sure to hit that kill switch and one last thing just to make everything look pretty like you can change you can change the way things look, like for instance, I would like it if this was a little, I don't know, like more fun, you can like click that, that's cool, stuff like that. And the, all the customization is done in the layout tab. But other than that, that is basically currently how I am playing loops right now using MainStage.